everyone we will be starting another two minutes time we are still waiting for few of the participants
Hello everyone. Good evening from Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, we are still receiving the participants, but we have to start it. This will be live streaming on uh, IWIM page, but uh, it will take time because we are still connecting the few of the people. But we'll start the program as uh, Doctor is already here. So let me introduce about this program to you all. So this uh, program, Health Awareness Pro, uh, Mental Health Awareness Program, is organized by uh, IWIM Institute of Women in Management in partnership with Consult Health Specialist. This uh, Consult Health Spe Specialist uh, is a website, worldwide website, where you can consult doctors uh, for second opinion, online uh, consultation, uh, and the doctors who are in that uh, website is from all over the world. So any one can connect for doctors is free reg registration for patients there is a nominal fee to receive your consultation or to for counseling or anything any uh, thing related to uh, health can be consulted through consult health specialist website so uh, today's program is about mental health uh, awareness program which we thought need to be addressed not only uh, considering the sri lanka but considering the whole country and especially in Sri Lanka, it's a, it's, a, it's a topic that we do not talk much. And we think uh, that it's not, uh, uh, what do you say, it's not much uh, appropriate to talk. So we hide a lot of mental health issues under, uh, under myths and also uh, using several words just to hide the uh, uh, fact that there is a disease. And the best uh, answer was given is, Mental health is just a sickness where you have medication. So today we have in, uh, invited Dr. Mehmet Isik, uh, who is a professional uh, doctor from the University Faculty of Medicine, Istanbul, Turkey. After graduation, he worked uh, as an orthopedic specialist at uh, uh, Hyderabad University Medical School. And also he completed his specialty in family medicine, Istanbul, uh, Hedrapaza Training and Research Hospital uh, in Turkey. He has uh, 15 years experience as a child care specialist and also he's certified at metabolic balance uh, practitioner. And also he heads the professor of the department head family medicine, uh, University of Faculty of Medicine. Some of the university's names, I'm not very good on pronouncing it. So uh, pardon me for that. And department of family medicine. He has also conducted and published numerous uh, research on projects. And also currently he is an associate professor faculty of medicine of University of Duras, Turkey. He is a member of a, a variety of medical association, published many research uh, papers on prestigious uh, medical journals. And uh, uh, Dr. Mehmet speak fluent in English, German, and he, he uh, on he says as a hobby, he plays chess also. So um, we have got an international doctor and someone who is a profession on that and also a family consultant. So please free to uh, ask your questions. But before the questions are being posted, he will be giving you all an overall uh, presentation about what is mental health, how it's related to us and what we can do. So before your questions are posted, Please uh, look at uh, his presentation. So, Dr. Mimet, uh, I invite you to do the presentation and uh, uh, please proceed. Unmute, uh, Dr. Mimet. Thank you very much, Sloshana. Thank you for your kind um, presentation about me. Uh, today, uh, I will speak about mental health, but uh, before beginning, I want to mention that mental health is is very wide field, so we cannot summarize everything in just uh, 20 minutes. I'll try to summarize uh, as much as possible. Uh, I, uh, I will speak about the definition of mental health at the beginning and early warning signs of uh, mental health. And you know, there are lots of myths uh, uh, related to mental health in different uh, uh, populations. And I'll give some examples related to mental health and the facts about the myths and recovery plans and 
specifically, I will try to uh, give some information about uh, depression, anxiety, and stress. These are actually, these are uh, mental disorders, uh, but I, uh, since they are very widely uh, seen uh, in population, in different population, uh, I'll try to give some basic information about these uh, mental illnesses too. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I cannot, I cannot move these windows from my presentation. How I can move this? Please move these windows away from this shared application. I don't know how can, I can move We also this. tried to do the same, but I cannot, but I think it's already in there. I don't know how, how I can move it, but... Uh, but oh, you this, can this do it I on do. that way, uh, doctor. It's okay, just proceed. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah. First of all, uh, I want to give the definition of World Health Organization about mental health. World Health Organization defined mental health in this sentence. Mental health is a state of well-being in which an individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stress of life, and can work productively and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. Mental health refers to cognitive, behavioral, and emotional well-beings. Actually, some authors use mental health uh, in the meaning of absence of mental disorder. Generally, we speak mental health to demonstrate there is not a mental disorder. But this, uh, mental, this, this topic, mental health cause, every field of uh, mental, uh, mentally related health issues. There are lots of factors contribute to uh, mental health problems. These are, there are three basic factors actually. The, the, one of them is the bi biological factor such as genes or brain chemistry. The, one of the main determinants of mental health is our genes or brain chemistry. And the other one is life experiences such as trauma, or abusement in early childhood period. And the, the other one, the third one is the history, family history of mental health problems. If there is some uh, person in our family with mental health, uh, the probability of having another uh, mental health uh, patient is possible. Mental health problems is quite common, but help always most of times it's available. I cannot say always because there are some the severe mental health problem uh, like schizophrenia, uh, but uh, most of time there are some, at least some, uh, some cures. Risk factor for mental uh, health conditions. Everyone has some risk of developing mental health uh, disorder, no matter their age, sex, income, or ethnicity. In the much of the developed world, especially in the United States, mental disorders are one of the leading cause of disability. Social and financial circumstances, biological factors, and lifestyle choices can all shape a person's mental health. A large proportion of people with a mental health disorder have more than one condition at a time. There, there may be lots of condition which force a person to have mental health, mental problems. There are lots of um, warning signs in, in people with mental health. I will give some examples. For example, in the eating and sleeping at the beginning of the mental problems, eating and sleeping pattern changes dramatically. Actually, the eating and sleeping is very good indicator of uh, person's health, not only mental health, uh, biological, physiological illnesses also uh, can change eating and sleeping pattern of a person. Pulling away from people and usual activities. Having low or no energy. Feeling numb or like nothing matters. Having unexplained aches, pains, fibromyalgia, and different aches in different parts of the body parts, headaches, uh, digital aches, sometimes aching knee and lower back pain, this kind of pains, 
uh, frequently seen in patients with mental problems. Feeling helpless or hopeless, smoking, drinking, or using drugs more than usual, and feeling unusually confused, forgetful, angry, worried, or uh, scared. These are the early warning signs of mental health. And yelling or fighting within the family uh, members and friends is also seen frequently in these people. Experiencing severe mood swings that cause problem in uh, long-term relationship. Uh, this also may cause uh, severe problem in marriages too. Having persistent thoughts and memories you cannot get out of your head. Hearing voices or believing things that are not true. This is especially seen in schizophrenia uh, and also in depression, in some form of depressions. Thinking of harming yourself or, or other people. Inability to perform daily tasks like taking care of your kids or going to school or work. And I'll give some uh, myths about uh, mental health. Uh, you know, uh, some people think that mental health problems don't affect me. It's not true, actually. In fact, mental health problems are very common. In 2019, about one in five American adults experienced a mental health issue. It means 20% of the American population experienced a kind of mental health issues. One in 10 young people ex uh, experienced a period of measured depression. It means that 10% um, of American uh, children have uh, depression, have any form of depression. And one in 25 American due to uh, serious mental illness such as uh, schizophrenia, uh, bipolar disorder, bipolar depression, or major depression. As you see from this statistical data, mental health problem is very common in developed countries too. The other myth, uh, children don't experience mental health problem. In fact, even very young children may show early warning signs of mental health concerns. These mental health problems are often clinically diagnosable and can be a product of the interaction of biological, psychological, and social factors. Half of all mental health disorder, disorders show a uh, first sign before a person turns 14 years of age. And three quarters of mental health disorders begin before age 25. Unfortunately, less than 20% of children and adolescents with diagnosable mental health problem receive treatment they need. Early mental health support is very important during childhood periods. In other myth, people with mental health problem are violent and, and unpredictable. In fact, the waste majority of people with mental health problems are no more likely to be violent than any, anyone else in the population. Most people with mental illness are not violent and only three to 5% of violence acts can be attributed to individuals living with a serious mental illness. In fact, people with several mental illnesses are over 10 times more likely to be victim of violent, uh, violent crimes than the general population. Many people with mental health problems are highly active and productive members of our community. The other myth People with mental health needs, even those who are managing their mental illness, cannot tolerate the stress of holding down a job. In fact, people with mental health problems are just as productive as the other employees. Employers who hire people with mental health problems report good attendance and punctuality, as well as motivation and good work with a greater than other employees. When employees with mental health problems receive effective treatment, it can uh, result in lower the medical costs, increase productivity, uh, lower abs uh, abstinence, and decreases disability costs. 
Um, of course, I cannot say that all the uh, all the persons with mental health disorders can work effectively in any kind of uh, works, uh, especially depressed persons cannot concentrate. So it may be dangerous uh, the, for uh, this person with severe depression to work in, uh, at dangerous work. Other with personality weakness or character flaws causes mental health problem. People with mental health problem can uh, snap out of it if they try hard enough. Actually, this is not correct. Mental health problem having nothing to do with being lazy or weak, or many people need help to get better. Many factors contribute to mental health problems, including, for example, biological factors, as I mentioned, genes, psychological illnesses, injury or brain chemistry, brain injury, trauma, this kind of things all contribute mental illnesses. Life experiences, trauma or uh, history of abuse ones. And family history of mental health also another uh, contributor in having mental health problems. People with mental health problems can get better and many recover completely. Not all of them, but most of them recover completely. Other myths, there is no hope for people with mental health problems. Once a friend or a family member develops mental health problems, he or she will never recover. In fact, studies show that people with mental health problems get better and many recover completely. Recover refers to, uh, to the process in which people are able to live, work, learn, and participate fully in their communities. In other myth, therapy and self-help are a waste of time. Why bother when you can just take a pill? Actually, treatment for mental health problems worries depending on the individual and could include medication, psychological consultation and therapy, hypnotherapy, or combination of those therapies. So it's not easy to get rid of from the mental health problem without having a professional consultation. Other myth is prevention doesn't work. It is impossible to prevent mental illnesses. In fact, prevention of mental, emotional and behavioral disorders focuses on addressing known risk factors such as exposure to trauma then the, uh, that can affect the ch chances that children, youth, and young adults will develop mental health problems. Promoting the social, emotional well-being uh, of the children and youth decreases mental health illnesses in in the population. So, taking um, necessary precaution in population to have abusement and uh, to face a trauma decreases mental health problem in that population. In other myth, I cannot do anything for a person with a mental health problem. In fact, friends and loved ones can make a big difference. Only 44% of adults with diagnosable mental health problems and less than 20% of children and adolescents receive needed treatment. Friends and family can be important influences to help someone get the treatment and the services they need. Recovery most of the time is possible. Most people with mental problems can get better. The treatment and recovery are ongoing processes that happens over time. The first step is getting help. What we should understand from recovery, recovery from mental disorder and uh, substance abuse disorder is a process of change through which individuals improve their health and wellness, live a self-directed life, strive to achieve their full potential. The recovery doesn't mean that this person will, uh, will be as healthy as a normal person in population and, can, uh, and he or she can perform every kind of jobs in the population. 
Of course, we should be precautious uh, to give job opportunity to the persons with severe depressed pain, uh, person and uh, also schizophrenia patients. These are severe disorders. And I want to give some um, information about the depression. Uh, depression is a mood disorder that uh, causes a person a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. It affects how you feel, how you think and behave, and uh, can lead to a variety of emotion and uh, psychological problems. You may have trouble doing normal day-to-day -day activities, and sometimes you may feel as if life isn't worth living. Although depression may occur only once during your life, people typically have multiple episodes of depressions. During these episodes, symptoms occur most, most of the day. These are the symptoms of depression. Feeling of sadness, tearfulness, emptiness, and hopelessness most of the time in the day. Angry, irritable, or frustration, even over small matters. Loss of interest or pleasure in most of all normal activities. Sleep disturbances, including insomnia or sleeping too much. Tiredness and the lack of energy. Reduced appetite and weight loss or increased craving for food. Anxiety, agitation and restlessness. Slow thinking, speaking or body movements. Feeling of worthlessness or guilty, fixation on past failures or self blame, trouble thinking, concentrating, making decisions, and remembering things. Frequent or recurrent thoughts of death, suicidal thoughts, suicide attempts, and this is an emergency situation in depression. If you feel that you're, you, you or your, one of your relatives have this kind of uh, suicidal thoughts, Im uh, immediately, immediately you should apply for a doctor to treatment. This is an urgent situation. Most of the time, this kind of patients manage, uh, succeed uh, to have a suicide. And uh, unexplained physical problems such as back pain or headaches or fibromyalgia uh, is frequently seen in patients with depression. Anxiety is another form of mental health problem. Um, anxiety disorders involve repeated episodes of sudden feeling of intense anxiety and fear or terror that uh, reach a peak within minutes. It is called panic attack also. It's well known uh, the name, with the name panic attack. Experiencing occasional anxiety is a normal part of life. However, People with anxiety disorders frequently have intense, expressive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. These feelings of anxiety and panic interferes with daily activities, are difficult to control, are out of proportion to the actual danger, and can last a long time. You may avoid places or situations to prevent these feelings. Symptoms may start during childhood or teenage years and continue into adulthood. Examples of anxiety disorders include generalized anxiety disorders, social anxiety disorders, specific phobia and separation anxiety disorders. You can have more than one anxiety disorder. Sometimes anxiety results from a medical uh, condition that needs treatment. Whatever form of anxiety you have, there is a treatment choice. Uh, most of the time, anxiety successfully can treat it. The other condition is stress. Stress can be defined as any type of changes that causes physical, emotional, or psychological strain. Stress is your body's response to anything that requires attention or action. Actually, stress is normal in our physical daily life. Everyone experiences stress to some degree. The way you respond to stress, however, makes a big difference to your overall well-being. 
Stress can be short term or long term. Both can lead to a, a variety of symptoms, but chronic stress can take a serious uh, to, uh, toll on the body over time and having long plastic health effects. Some common symptoms of stress, changes in mood, clam or sweaty palms, decreased sex drive, diarrhea, difficult sleeping, digestive problems, dizziness, feeling anxious, frequent sickness, grinding teeth, headaches, low energy, muscle tension, especially in the back and shoulders, physical aches and pains, racing in heart, heartbeats and tremblings. And these are the basic, um, basic topics that I can uh, summarize in 20 minutes. If you have any additional question, I will be uh, very happy to answer your questions. Mehmet, thank you so much. There is a one question which has come up uh, saying that my 23 year old daughter is having anxiety and refuses to come out of, a, of the house and failed every time I try to take her out. What should I do? Hmm. Um, actually, it's, it's a very good question, um, especially uh, if, the, I don't know how is your community health services, if you have a, a family doctor, the family doctor can visit your home and he can make an appointment uh, with all the family members, not only with, this, uh, with that uh, child. And you, you can make a family consultation together with the child with your family uh, physicians. If possible, you can call a family physician to your home. And uh, at the beginning, at the, the first step may be this. Um, if he cannot uh, agree, he, if he doesn't agree to, to go to a doctor, doctor can go to home and uh, he can ask some questions uh, to all family members and meanwhile, he can uh, get, he may get some answer from uh, the child and he, the doctor can uh, try to manage a contact with uh, that child. And by the way, after a few sessions, he may be agree, he or she, I don't, I don't understand. Is, was he a girl? Yeah. That's a girl, my daughter, she hey. my daughter. After, and after a few sessions, probably he, she will agree uh, to have consultation with a consultant or, or with a doctor. Anxiety, is, uh, anxiety definitely can be cured. 100%, I can say 100%. Most of the time we, we use hypnotherapy, but if needed, we also can use some medications. Uh, we call, sometimes we can we combine both of the therapy. Psychological consultation also may help, but especially hypnotherapy and medication therapy is very effective in treatment of anxiety disorders. Uh, if, uh, okay. so, uh, this is a common question which has come. Now, most of the time, the corporate stress has been taken as a normal thing, which uh, we do not think uh, is it, it's as a uh, mental health, right? And Sri Lanka has suicide also due to the stress. If you can tell us how the stress can need to be handled, because many of the us think stress is handled through uh, based, basically on uh, counseling and all that. Yeah. Actually, as you said, stress is a normal uh, is normal in our daily life, but the response to stress vary according to people. The, the important thing is the management of stress. And some people. Uh, gives very important uh, attention and always they are alert. And this alert service produces different hormones in our body. And these hormones may cause uh, high blood pressure, for example. And uh, under chronic stress, people may develop uh, psychological disorders. One of them is anxiety disorder. And after a chronic exposure to uh, stress, depression also may develop. And if depression is untreated, suicide attempts may develop. You know, suicide attempts are quite uh, frequently seen in Western countries. 
For example, in the United States, suicide is the tenth leading cause of death. Tenth leading cause of death, death in the United States, suicides attempts. In 2019, uh, nearly 47,000 people died by the suicide attempts in the United States. Nearly 50,000 people died. And also in 2019, uh, there were an estimated 1.4 million suicide attempts in the United States. And all this, uh, probably uh, this, uh, this statistical data may be similar in your countries because nearly this is valid for all the countries over the world. Uh, especially if people cannot handle stress, they will face at the end this kind of suicide attempts. How we can manage to test? Actually, it's, uh, most of the time it's quite easy. At the beginning, we should always try to spend some, some time with our friends or we should participate in leisure activity. Uh, there are some exercises, for example, yoga, um, breath exercises uh, and um, Engaging with uh, sports, this kind of activities decreases our stress. And also family, uh, spending time with family members or friends also a good way to decrease stress. But if people cannot manage alone with the stress, they should consult to a health profession. It's not necessary to take medication at the beginning of stress. Most of the time, um, meditation will be enough or mindfulness exercises, for example, is uh, most of the time is enough to handle the stress problem. But if a person cannot manage and if he feels that stress affects his daily life, decreases his life uh, quality, then he or she should apply to a, a health professionals to help to get a professional help. Okay. Doctor, there is another question which has come in. Say someone is receiving treatment and consultation, how can one learn or realize that he's recovered from a mental illness? That's the first question. And the second one is, what are the activities or exercises to improve focus on concentration while going through a depression episode? So I'll first ask you to answer the first question, which says, yes. how can someone re learn yes. or realize that he has recovered from a mental health illness? Actually, uh, not patient, but the doctor or health professional should decide if he is recovered or not. The patient or relative of the patient should not decide. The professional uh, consultant or doctor will decide. There are different measurements uh, the, uh, the health profession use and this uh, they, they, they follow patients. Uh, I, I can say that relatives and the patient should not decide if he or she is cured or the, uh, we should terminate the, uh, we should terminate the therapy. Doctors should give this, this, this decision. Okay, the second question is, what are the activities or exercise to improve focus on connection, uh, concentration while going through a depression episode? Actually, if a person has a severe depression, only these exercises will not be helpful. In depression, professional uh, consultation should be taken. Otherwise, self-support uh, self will not be enough. If a person is diagnosed as a major depressive uh, disorder, or especially bipolar disorder, these are very severe conditions. Uh, they should get some medication, uh, and uh, the consultation exercises will not be helpful in this situation. Uh, doctor, if the if uh, does the mental health or something to do with depression or anything, they need to take the medication till. Uh, as long as they live, because sometimes they say when you stop medication, uh, then you get uh, uh, again, right? You get another episode coming in. And also there is a myth that uh, the person who's getting a mental health medication, you can say stress, you can say depression or enzyma, they will 
uh, not be uh, there will be side effects of all those uh, things so if you can explain that also and, and for, I, I will give an answer to your first question um, some form of depression especially uh, bipolar depression it requires lifelong therapy most of the time lifelong therapy some and, uh, lifelong therapies right some. lifelong therapy yes okay, okay. if he cuts the therapy uh, after a while the, there will be a severe uh, attacks uh, and the, there are some uh, some guidelines we use in therapy uh, but uh, at the, if in first episodes at least 6 months uh, medication therapy is necessary but after if we, if we cut this medication therapy if it uh, if you see another episode this uh, let's say suppose the second episode the duration of medication therapy become much more longer after two episodes the lifelong therapy is suggested in uh, major dep depression disorder but if it is uh, bipolar disorder if this is much more severe and lifelong therapy is suggested uh, but uh, this is not valid for um, for anxiety disorder. Anxiety can be cured totally uh, without using even without using any medication by just uh, a hypnotherapy or psychological con consultation. Uh, uh, anxiety attacks can, can be cured. And the long term medication therapy may give some uh, some side effects to uh, especially to liver or kidneys. So. Uh, during this medication therapy, time to time, uh, kidney function test and uh, uh, some other test required to control so if there is a side effect. Taken or not. For a long time, there has to be a kidney test. Or there can be a side effect. Doctor, if mm. you can remove the file sharing, then uh, they can see you properly. If you can remove the file sharing. Yes, I, I will. That would be good. Okay, uh, doctor, there is another question. Is nail biting related to a mental disorder? Pardon? Is nail biting is uh, uh, related to a mental I, disorder? I, I, cannot, I cannot hear you. Is nail biting is related to a may, uh, uh, depression, mental disorder? You cannot hear me? Can you? No, I cannot see it. Okay, uh, nail, nail biting, you say? Nail, nail, nail biting. Nail biting. Yes, nail okay. Biting. Uh, okay, I have. Okay, I see. Actually, you, you know, um, nail biting can be treated by uh, with hypnotherapy. It's very easy to treat. Giving medication is not necessary in this kind of uh, conditions. It's a behavioral disorder. Uh, we cannot say it's a mental disorder, but uh, it requires therapy. Uh, so uh, hypnotherapy is very effective in this kind of conditions. Okay, so there is another question which is asking: Are medications taken for depression is addictive? Whether it's get addicted by a patient after they take a depression medication? Uh, I can say no, it's not addictive, but we recommend not to cut these medications, uh, especially. Um, your doctor or physician should decide if it's necessary to decrease the dosage or to cut the uh, total cut the medication. Uh, they are not addictive. Most of them is not addictive. But sometimes, in order to prevent new episodes, um, we should decrease the, this medication slowly. I mean, the dosage should be decreased slowly. Okay. Is the anger uh, for something like being? too much cleanliness or getting angry because they see sometimes there's a split of water or it's not being neat and tidy. Is it a mental disorder or it's a habitual uh, uh, it's a thing that happened to a person? There is another question on that. Actually, it depends on the anger severity. If, if it is not, uh, uh, if it's too much anger, it's not um, suitable for a normal condition, then uh, this, this may be a, a sign of mental disorder. It may be a sign of uh, anxiety disorder, for example. 
uh, or say, sometimes it may be a sign of depression, but most of them uh, anxiety disorders. Uh, and especially if it's seen in children, um, it may be a, an early sign of mental, uh, mental problem. Okay, there is a question that my child get, uh, says to uh, lies in school and at home. He never been honest and he has been practicing it and he enjoys lying and he get punished also whether it's a mental disorder or he uh, how to get over that actually it, we cannot say it's a mental disorder it's a psychological condition and uh, i suggest to apply a child psychologist uh, and support the child and try to prevent to be open to the child and uh, try to understand why the child lies? What's the, the real reason behind his or her uh, lying? Uh, the, the family should cooperate with child and should try to make a, a very close, uh, friendly, friendly relation with children. If they cannot manage, I advise to apply a, a child psychologist. Okay, after the divorce, my uh, son is going through a depression where he cannot see me or he, he's not happy with me. Can you explain to me how I can help him out? Um, I don't know if um, who decided uh, that man is uh, in depression or not, or that lady, I don't know, did this child, male or female. And, uh, first of all, it's better to have a psycho psychiatric consultation. If as the depression is diagnosed, uh, then uh, medication therapy may be necessary. But uh, the, uh, the child may, may believe that the reason of his or her divorce is that mom or that dad. Uh, this, this may be the real reason of this kind of behaviors. So, uh, it's important to understand the reason why he behave like this, if he really have a depression or not. Uh, and uh, a normal person cannot give decision in this situation. A professional consultation is required to understand if uh, that person has uh, depression or not. Is a counseling, is a medication, or uh, if you can explain for people who are uh, having uh, anxiety or depression, if they go on counseling, how it should be. If you can just explain to us about what is the counseling and how it can help on what of what type of uh, these sicknesses that counseling will help and what is real counseling it. I think that would be great. Mm. Yes, yes, you know, there are psychologists. These are the medical doctors, psychologists. And most of them, psychologists pres prescribe medications. And there's another field, it's called psychology. So it's a clinical psychologist doesn't prescribe, most of the time they doesn't pres prescribe a drug, any medication. They speak to uh, with the patients and they try to understand the real, uh, uh, real, real reasons behind the situation. And they uh, um, enforce uh, and support them uh, by speaking, by uh, by touching. Uh, you know, there there's also a, another uh, um, therapeutic approach. It's called therapeutic approach, therapeutic touching, and this kind of uh, therapy, uh, the only speaking therapy, um, most of the time is enough to handle uh, most of the psychological problem at the beginning level. But if it's several, it's not possible uh, just uh, speaking. To, it's not possible to treat somebody by just speaking. So psychologists generally prescribe drugs. Psychologists, psychiatrists generally prescribe drugs, like psychologists generally speak to persons and they, for example, uh, this uh, anxiety disorder can be treated by psychological therapy or uh, phobia, especially the phobias can be treated with psychological consultations. And at the beginning of um, anger attacks, especially in children, and uh, uh, your social phobia uh, or um, agoraphobia, 
or some people, for example, don't want to go or they always want to stay at home. And this kind of social phobia can be treated with psychological consultation. Okay, there is another uh, question. What are the prominent fa facial expression related to a depressed individual? You know, the um, severe depressed individual generally do, don't make uh, direct eye contact. Uh, this is uh, this one of the uh, important uh, mark. Uh, and they generally uh, look at down, they, uh, their body, uh, but the posture is depressed. Uh, they, they look at their front. Uh, they don't uh, directly intervene with the other people. Uh, I can say direct eye contact is uh, one of the indicators. And they don't want to touch to, uh, to other people. They try to, uh, to, be, to make a certain uh, distance between the other people. Okay. Then there is another question. Is there any relation uh, with skin problems and depression? Um, actually, um, some skin problems may cause people to separate himself or herself, or herself from uh, community. They don't want to go out. For example, alopecia, uh, you know, alopecia areata or alopecia totalis is losing of, of hair. And if a young uh, girl or a young boy loses uh, his or her hairs, he or she doesn't want to go out to participate, uh, to engage with uh, his friends. So this make us a cause depression and separation disorders. And the other condition, um, you know, if there's a severe skin um, wounds, this also may cause this kind of depress depression. Um, these if are the someone social is having a depression, Will that person start uh, scratching? There can be wounds, or they can have some. Uh, that's what they're asking. Uh, they uh, because of depression, can there be skin diseases? And actually, it's not because of depression. This is a comorbidity. We call it comorbidity, and okay. depressed people may may have this kind of habits too. For example, they pick their hairs out. They pick out pick out their hairs, or they scratch their body. Uh, they, they they can make severe wounds on their body. This is not related directly to that depression. This is a comorbidity. It's another uh, mental health condition. Okay. Then there is another one. How do you explain sudden anger? How do you react in the, uh, these sort of situations? Mm. The, actually, the severity of the anger um, worries. You know, sometimes... Um, if it's too severe, and if this person uh, harms himself or to other people, then this is an emergency situation and he or she should be hospitalized. And we, in hospital, we give some medication to calm down this person. Uh, this is an emergency situation. But a, a normal tolerable anger attacks uh, is not necessary to, to have a, uh, to go to uh, hospital or to have a medication. Um, if he, if the, he or she is a child, we should try to to understand the reason. And uh, if we cannot manage the situation, it's better to have a child uh, psychiatrist consultation. Uh, there, there, there may be lots of reason behind it. Sometimes there may be. Uh, uh, some psychological problem, but uh, sometimes there may be uh, some biological hormone uh, deficiency too. Okay, then uh, there is one other question which is asking why someone doesn't like to stop medication even he or she recovered from? Uh, most of the time, you know, people believe that if he or she give, uh, uh, give up the medication, they will again have the same problem, as especially in anxiety disorder. Uh, patients always want to continue uh, to have their pills because they believe that if they uh, don't take these pills, they'll have the same uh, problems. This is a fear, and this is also a sign of uh, 
anxiety disorder. If people doesn't want to uh, to give up his medication, it means that he or she still have this kind of problem. So people should not force him or her to cut this medication off. Right. Okay, uh, doctor, I would like to ask because um, many of the questions are related to because in Sri Lankan concept, the medication for a depression or a suicidal or anxiety is about it giving, getting a tablet. Right, so we uh, do not practice much of the counseling, and many of the them are saying after taking the tablet, uh, the patient or themselves uh, feel drowsy and they cannot work. Actually, uh, what is the status? Are the tablets are given uh, for sleeping or to make them drowsy, or how it can be changed? Because that's the main reason many of them go are uh, not taking medication. Yes, this, uh, this is a big problem of the med medical therapy. Uh, the dosage should be increased slowly. You know, at the beginning of therapy, it's not easy to adapt to that medication, especially at the beginning of the first 15 days. It may be hard uh, uh, to adapt this tab medication therapy. Uh, so it's better if it's not tolerable patient can ask her physician to change this medication or to decrease the dosage. But uh, some, uh, some patients is vulnerable to some drugs and some others is not vulnerable. So it's, it depends on the patients. Uh, it's better to arrange this dosage with his or her doctor. I cannot suggest any, uh, any drug here. Uh, okay. But uh, be sure that this uh, the drugs used in depression is not just to make person sleepy. Uh, after a few days, uh, especially after 15 days, this kind of side effects we call these side effect will be will disappear and uh, person will continue normally his or her daily life. Right, because most of the uh, when they get depression and when they get the. Uh, uh, medication, they lose their job because they cannot go for, so absenteeism has been high. That was the question from a corporate which was asked from me. Uh, Doctor, if I may ask as a final public question on this topic, is um, mental health awareness, is it only about stress? Is it only about depression? Is it only about anxiety? Is it related to many other things or it's just those three main things? Actually, mental health covers all aspects of psychiatry. You know, it's a, it's a very big field. Uh, but uh, uh, some people, some author use uh, this word, ter this terminology, just to indicate that people doesn't have a severe mental disorders. You know, there are uh, two major fields. One of them is the illness, the illness part, and the other one is wellness. The disorders are the psychiatric illnesses. These are severe illnesses. For example, schizophrenia and, and depression uh, and, uh, the, is the major form of these psychological disorders. These are disorders. But the other things uh, may not be so severe. They can handle easily by, uh, by just by consultation, by psychological consultation or hypnotherapy. And most of the time we understand that uh, mental health rate to that part of medicine. Uh, for example, some people regularly do yoga exercises or mindfulness exercises or breath exercises. And these kind of activities and engaging with sports activity is also very helpful in to handle this kind of uh, mental health problems. We cannot say these are a severe uh, disorders. For example, stress. stress is normal in our daily life. But the answer uh, from, uh, from our body to stress is very important. Some people doesn't take it serious in the stress. Uh, uh, some people doesn't take this stress serious. So they don't give serious uh, reaction. They, they Blood pressure doesn't increase. But some people give serious reaction and uh, for a long time, their health uh, condition changes and they get uh, sick. Uh, they, they may have 
uh, high blood pressure, they may have ulcerative colitis, or they may have uh, stomach ulcers, and some of them may get uh, cancer, for example, and most of the time <laughs> they get uh, depression. Uh, the chronic, uh, chronic stress may cause different diseases in different persons. Right. Doctor, there is a one question has asked, is the mental health has a different age group uh, or is it happened to only the uh, middle age or old or is there a, a specific uh, age for depression or anxiety? Actually, you know, some, uh, some illnesses, some uh, severe illnesses uh, seen in different age uh, populations, but most of the mental disorders begin before the age of 14, nearly two thirds of the mental illnesses give their its uh, first symptoms before the age of 14. And so nearly before the age of 14, you get 14, the symptoms? Most, yes, uh, before the age of 14, most of uh, 40, symptoms, FP, 14, FP, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, okay, okay. One four, yes, okay, one okay, four. Okay. Uh, but some forms for, uh, may be seen uh, later on, uh, for example, after 20 years or 30 years, uh, but okay. most of the time we can say that early childhood is very important and uh, the parents should pay attention to their children and uh, only 20% of the mental illnesses diagnosed by a, uh, or get, can get a help, a professional help, help. 80% even doesn't notice it. and this 80% will have severe health problem in their later life, I mean, after 20 years or 40 years, they may face severe uh, mental problems. But if they can be diagnosed at the early ages, it may be uh, preventable, it may be prevented. So early childhood matters a lot for a healthy yes. lifestyle, a lifestyle, mental healthy lifestyle. That's what you are saying. Yes, that's true. Okay. Okay, uh, doctor, so the final question, because uh, many of the questions are coming, since it's from uh, Facebook also live, I'll just uh, ask for a common question, which everyone has. Normally, they say during the pregnancy, you get a lot of these, uh, sicknesses, which has not been there. But some uh, diagnosis, even especially the mental health issues, where the when you're pregnant, you some people uh, lose their uh, minds and they they do not remember they are pregnant and all and because in recently sri lanka had uh two or three uh, un, uh i would say uh, it's not suicide the mother killing two kids and it was due to uh, the pregnancy mental health issue if you can just explain to us what are the uh, issues that will come related to pregnancy uh, so that it can be an awareness it's not a wickedness because our media put it as a wickedness, but it's a mental health issue, so it can be make an awareness. Actually, as you know, during pregnancy, the hormonal balance of, of the uh, woman uh, changes, changes dramatically. The hormone, hormonal changes, the, the quick hormonal changes make uh, causes different illness, especially uh, most of the time, depression uh, during the pregnancy period is very, very frequent. And the, the, the reason is a very fast change in the hormonal balance. And this is, uh, there's a diagnosis uh, depression type, it's called uh, depression in pregnancy. And uh, it, the person should be handled carefully by a physician. It can, uh, using medication is very effective in that period. They should, go to have a psychiatric, psychiatric consultation and medication should be given for this kind of persons as soon as they, they are noticed this problem. Um, this is widely seen among all the, all the population, not only in Sri Lanka, probably it's seen in all the, over the world. Um, it, it, it is because of the abrupt changes of the hormonal levels in the body. Uh, it is a psychological disorder and it can be uh, treated. Treatment is possible, but early interference, early diagnosis is necessary. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Mehmet. And it was Thank a great uh, awareness for Sri Lanka and especially uh, for many of us because uh, we hardly speak on this subject. So the first uh, participants who are watching on live and also on the Zoom, I would like to say if you want to consult Dr. Mehmet or any other doctor, you can log in uh, consult a specialist or write to uh, in management. Uh, you all all know admin at womeninmanagement.org or call not double seven two three not seven three five six to get any information related to any of the day. not only mental health the site you can consult any doctor for your the second opinion of any of your sicknesses or related to uh, you can consult and also if you want this kind of programs for organizations. You can contact uh, Women in Management via we organize those uh, programs. So as uh, Dr. Mehmet said, most of these mental health uh, issues can be diagnosed uh, before the age of 14. And uh, that's where you say the early childhood. So and also there are this is not an illness that there is no medication. Medication is available. And also, as he said, counseling is not about giving solution. It's about listening. And before we uh, may, may come to a conclusion of a patient, better to get uh, professional advice and also identify and treat that person early as possible. So if you all had more questions, please do write to us and send your question. We will write to Dr. Mehmet and we'll try to connect you all. And uh, thank you, Dr. Mehmet, again thank for you. coming us you. and uh, giving us this awareness and wishing you all a good night and uh, thank you so much. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.